Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the thermal decomposition of a metal carbonate. We'll first talk about the reaction and the general equation. Uh, we'll then go and have a look at an example equation uh, and then we'll do a couple of examples together, working them through, uh, and then I will talk about how to test for carbon dioxide. Uh, so firstly, the thermal decomposition of a metal carbonate occurs when a metal carbonate is heated, uh, usually on a Bunsen burner or something like that, uh, and it reacts to form a metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide gas is given off uh, and you're left in the vessel with a metal oxide. Now an example of this uh, equation is a copper carbonate. Copper carbonate reacts with uh, in the presence of heat and forms copper oxide and carbon dioxide. This is quite a good uh, reaction because copper carbonate is green while copper oxide is black. So you see a quite distinct colour change uh, when heating the uh, copper carbonate. Now let's work through an example together. Uh, so here we've got aluminium carbonate in the presence of heat. So the first thing I'm realizing is that this is going to be a thermal decomposition of carbonate equation. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so I think back to my general equation uh, that a metal carbonate reacts to form metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So this is good because it gives us half of the uh, products already. We know that carbon dioxide is going to be produced. Um, at this point in time, I find that it's uh, useful to uh, work out the chemical formula for the things that we've got because that'll help us with the products as we go forward. Okay, so aluminium carbonate, so aluminium's Al, uh, carbonate CO3. Now aluminium has a valency of 3 plus, uh, carbonate is 2 minus, uh, so they're not the same, so we're going to have to swap and drop, which will give us Al2 CO3 3. Uh, and carbon dioxide is CO2. In this reaction, what's happening is this carbonate uh, ion is being broken up and we get the, one of the carbons and two of the oxygens that come over here to form the carbon dioxide. Uh, so what we're going to be left with is uh, the aluminium and that leftover uh, oxygen. So we end up with our aluminium oxide. Uh, so now we need to balance this ion uh, and aluminium's 3 plus, oxygen's 2 minus, so we're going to have to do another swap and drop there. Uh, Al2O3, uh, which is aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide. Uh, and now we just need to see whether this uh, equation is balanced. Uh, so on this side, we've got two aluminiums, which is good. Uh, we've got three carbons. Uh, oh, then we come over here and there's only two, one carbon there. So what if I put a three here maybe? Um, that'll give me three carbons there, six oxygens here, uh, which means my carbonate's balanced there. Uh, cool. And I've got leftover will be my two and my three. So that's now a balanced equation. All right, let's have a look at another one. So in this one, we've got sodium carbonate. So again, I'm going to think back to my general equation. Uh, and that general equation is going to tell me that I need carbon dioxide. And I want to now work out uh, what the other products are. So I'll sodium carbonate. Uh, so I'll put this into a formula. Now sodium is a, a 1 plus carbonate to 2 minus. So we're going to need 2 sodium for this one. Um, now it's going to produce uh, carbon dioxide uh, and uh, so we've got the uh, carbon and two of the oxygens going to form that carbon dioxide. We're going to be left with the sodium and one of those oxygens which will be our sodium oxide. Uh, sodium oxide, um, again oxygens two minus, uh, sodium is one plus so we're going to need one of those. Uh, and now look to see if it's balanced and that all balanced nicely. Uh, so we can write up the top for our word equation, sodium oxide. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward uh, way to work out the products of this reaction. Uh, now, as part of the reaction, we can test 
uh, for the carbon dioxide, that presence of carbon dioxide, to show that that's what is being released. Because it's a colourless gas, you can't see it, uh, but what we can do is the lime water test. Now in the lime water test, we uh, place a test tube with a stopper over the container, so in this case it's a test tube, and then we bubble the gas, so using a tube, bubble that gas through lime water. So you can put it into a um, another test tube that has lime water in it. And what we should see is that lime water turns milky. Uh, and you can see an example of that here, uh, that it's clear. And as it bubbles through, it becomes a bit more milky or cloudy. Uh, and this is a precipitate that is forming uh, with the reaction of the carbon dioxide and that lime water. In this video, we have looked at the thermal decomposition of a metal carbonate. We've talked about the reaction and the general equation, uh, looked at an example with uh, copper carbonate, and then we looked at some worked examples and talked about how we can use the lime water test to test for carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.